What's up guys, Linaxon here, and today I'm discussing the recent Cyberpunk 2077 delay that was announced today on the Cyberpunk 2077 Twitter page. Yeah, that's right guys, the game's been delayed for the fourth time. Luckily for us, it's only a 21 day delay making the new release date December 10th of 2020. But people are understandably not happy about this, especially after CD Projekt Red a couple of weeks ago announced the game has gone gold and was being produced physically. And they really stressed that there would be no more delays of the game, not just to the consumers, but also to their investors. In fact, just yesterday, a Twitter user that goes by the name Pingrino asked CD Projekt Red directly if there would be any more delays before he took November 17th off from his job to play the game. And they confidently replied that there would be no delays and yeah, that didn't age very well at all. In the post they made announcing this, they gave their explanation behind this along with an apology explaining the reason this delay is happening. In the announcement, they said, it's because the biggest challenge for us right now is shipping the game on current gen, next gen, and PC, which requires us to prepare and test nine versions of the game. Xbox One, Xbox Series X, PS4, PS5, PC, and Google Stadia. And they're trying to do all this while they're working from their homes. Since Starpunk 2077 evolved towards almost being a next-gen title, somewhere along the way, we need to make sure everything would work well and every version would run smoothly. Wherever it might seem unrealistic when someone says that 21 days can make any difference in such a massive and complex game, but they really do. They also explained what they meant when the game went gold and clarified that even though it does mean the game is ready and complete with all the content in it, it doesn't mean they stopped working on it and raising the quality of the game and polishing it up. On the contrary, this time is a time where many improvements are being made which will be distributed via a day zero patch. Which I'm guessing they thought wasn't going to take very long, but they may have undercalculated how long it would actually- Oh man dude, that's such a big error. It, it definitely shows at least to me there's some serious disconnect between the developers, the marketing, and the management for this game. And it seems to be that way because a lot of the developers just found out that the game was going to be delayed right as they announced this on the Twitter page. Which really does suck because guess when you thought you only had a couple more weeks of crunch and you get that $50,000 bonus and things go back to being relatively normal? Nah man, you gotta go back for working another 3 weeks assuming it even comes out in the December and they don't delay it again. And the opinions on this are really mixed. You have a lot of people who are just sick of the rating and canceling their pre-orders. Then you got the people that took time off from their jobs just to play the game and it's not like they can change it. You know, once you put it in, depending on where you work, you know, that's it. There's no changing it. So obviously a lot of people are angry about that, especially after the game went gold and games that go gold generally don't get delayed, let alone delayed as many times as Cyberpunk 2077 has. Now obviously COVID and the horrible management is likely to be blamed for this, but we really don't know what's going on at CD Projekt Red. Me personally, I don't mind it because I've been burnt way too many times in recent years by games that should have been delayed that went gold, but the publisher just said, F it, we're just gonna finish it later. So if this is gonna make the game better, then by all means, you know, go for it. It also gives me a little bit of time to upload a couple more videos to build up the channel and get the parts to start building my new gaming PC. Probably gonna ship some of them back so I can get the parts during Black Friday and probably get them cheaper than I did on Prime Day. But as far as future delays go, this is probably gonna be the last one because number one, they don't want to miss out on the holiday season and number two, another one would definitely hurt them financially. Because their stock price and their pre-orders would definitely drop. I mean, they're already dropping right now, which isn't good. And they would have to spend even more money remarketing the game. But I'd like to hear from you guys in the comment section below. Will this be the last delay of Cyberpunk 2077? Do you think the game will come out this year or is it going to be coming out in 2021? Share what you think in the comments below. Alright guys, today I shared my thoughts on Cyberpunk 2077 delay. Next time we will cover more of Cyberpunk 2077 news on my channel, so stay tuned for more of that content. If you learned something new or enjoyed this video, remember to hit that like button, I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe for more Cyberpunk content, and I'll talk to you guys later. Next time guys.